Hello everyone. This is Consulting and Strategy Club of SIBM Pune. Myself Raghavamsi. I am delighted to welcome to the first episode of our Guestimate video series. Today we have with us Mr. Sakishma Teja. Hi Teja, how are you doing? Hi Raghu, I am doing well. Thank you for having me. Good to hear that. So let's begin with the Guestimate. You need to estimate the number of laptops used in India today. Okay, uh, so I need to estimate the number of laptops presently in use in India. Laptops are used for personal as well as professional purposes. They are also present in shops across the country to be sold. And laptops are also available for rent. What do you want me to consider for calculating the total laptops in the country? For now, only calculate the number of laptops used only for personal and professional uses. Okay, I am sure. I would like to calculate the number of individuals who use this personal and professional laptop. For that, I would like to divide our country's population into urban and rural population. Uh, Indian population is around 140 crores and urban population consists of 30% of the country's population. Uh, that comes down to around 40 crores and the rest of 70% of population is around 100 crores. So, a laptop being a high-end tech product, my assumption is that very few people will be using a laptop for their personal use uh, and for professional use it would also be very minimal in rural areas so uh, can i exclude the rural part while calculating the number of laptops yes uh, it is a fair assumption you can exclude the rural part okay. laptop usage is generally based on affordability to estimate that i would like to segment the urban population into three parts based on income level that is high income uh, middle income and low income group so I would like to I'll take, I'd like to take the split as 20%, 60%, and 20% uh, respectively. Uh, is that a fair assumption? No, Teja. Since India is a lower middle income country, I want you to take the split to be 20, 50, 30 percentage for high, middle, and low income groups. Sure. So it is 20%, 50%, and 30%. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to tell you the numbers here. So for high population of urban India comes out to be 20% of uh, 40 crores, that is 8 crores. Middle income is 20 crores and low income is 12 crores. Uh, so I assume that the low income population finds it difficult to afford a laptop. So the clowns would be negligible. Shall I proceed uh, excluding the low income population? Yes, you can proceed with that. Okay. Uh, now since the percentage of people using laptop depends on the age, I would like to divide both the high income and middle income population into four age groups. That is 0 to 16, uh, 16 to 40 age group, 40 to 60, as well as 60 plus age group. Um, since India is a young country where the median age is around 28 years, I would like to allocate a major share of the population between 0 to 16 age group and 16 to 40 age group. So I would like to take the percentage as 30% uh, for 0 to 16. 40% uh, for 0 to 60 to 40, 20% uh, is 40 to 60, and 10% uh, of the population constitutes of 60 plus uh, age group people. So, uh, how are these, are these numbers fair? Yeah, these numbers look great to me. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the calculation, I'd like to calculate the numbers here. 30% of 8 crores, it comes out to be 2.4 crores. 10 to 40 uh, constitutes of 3.2 crores, 40 to 60 is 1.6 crores, and 16 plus is uh, 0.8 crores. So, uh, to maintain the homogeneity of both the high income as well as the middle income group, I would like to take the same percentage split uh, for the middle income as well, that is 30, 40, 20, and 10. And the numbers would come out to be uh, 6 crores, 40% uh, of 20 crores, that is 8 crores, 20% of 20 crores, that is 4 crores. 10% of 20 crores, that is 2 crores. So these are the numbers for uh, middle income population of urban India. So are these numbers looking fair? Shall I go ahead? Yeah, these numbers look pretty logical. You can continue with that estimation. Sure. So uh, percentage of people who use a laptop will vary with age and also across the income group. So first, I would like to consider personal laptops for the high income population. Across the age group. So for 16 to uh, 0 to 16, it would be 30 percent. Uh, 16 to 40, I would estimate it as 70 percent. 40 to 60, I would estimate it as 30 percent. 
And for 60 plus, I would take it as uh, 5% of the population. So, uh, are my assumptions looking fair? Okay, can you justify your speed for the 16 to 40 age group? Why is the percentage so high? Uh, sure. So, uh, 16 to 40 majorly consists of millennials who are well connected to technology. Since you are talking about the high income population, the vast majority of them would have a laptop. Also, some of them will have multiple laptops. So, as a result, I estimated that it would be approximately 70% of the average uh, age group. Okay, sounds good enough. Uh, you can continue, Teja. Okay, um, now I would like to calculate uh, consider for the professional laptop, uh, use of professional laptop. So, for 0 to 16, it would be not it would not be applicable. Uh, for since it is for uh, professional purposes. 16 to 40, I would take 40% of the population uh, having a pro uh, professional laptop. For 40 to 60, I would take it as 20%. And for 60 plus, I would again take it as not applicable. Since uh, there would be negligible people who would be working on tech roles uh, at that age, uh, since it is the age of retirement. So, uh, Uh, now I'll calculate the numbers for personal laptops. So it comes out to be 30% of 2.4 crores, that is 0.72 crores. 70% of 3.2 crores, that is uh, 2.24 crores. 30% of 1.6, that is 0.48 crores. And 5% of 0.8, that is 0.04 crores. Uh, same with professional laptops. It is not applicable for 0 to 16. For 16 to 40, uh, it would be 1.28 crores. For 40 to 60, it would be 0 0.32, and for 60 plus, uh, again for professional laptops, it would be not applicable. So, are these numbers fair? Shall I go ahead uh, to calculate the same with the middle income population? Yes, uh, these numbers look good to me. You can go ahead with middle income population. Coming to middle income population, uh, for personal laptop, 0 to 16 age group, I would take it as 10%. 16 to 40, I will take it as 40 percent, and 40 to 60, I will take it as 20 percent, and for 60 plus, uh, I will take it as zero percent here. So, uh, since uh, we are considering middle middle income age group, the majority will still be 16 to 40 age group here. Uh, here, but the main difference is that with zero to 16 uh, age group, the households find it very difficult to afford a laptop for their children. So, uh, that is why I have taken 10 percent uh, here for personal laptop. And 0% uh, for 60 plus because uh, very very less people would be uh, uh, using laptops at that age in middle income population. So the count would uh, be negligible. So going ahead with the professional laptops, it is not applicable for 0 to 16, uh, similar to as explained previously. 16 to 40, I would estimate it as 20%. 40 to 60, I would take it as 10%. And 60 plus again, uh, it's not applicable. So going ahead to calculate the numbers for personal laptops of the middle income population for so 0 to 16 age group, it is 10% of uh, 6 crores, so that is 0 0.6 crores. For so 16 to 40, it is 40% 40 of 8 crores, that is 3.2 crores. For 40 to 60, it is 20% of 4 crores, that is 0 0.8 crores. And uh, for 60 plus, it is um, 0. And for professional laptops, it is not applicable for 0 to 16. 16 to 40 comes out to 1.6 crores. 40 to 60 it comes down to 0.4 crores. And for 60 plus, uh, it is not applicable again. So uh, these are the total numbers. Uh, so are these uh, looking good? Yeah, the numbers are quite good. Can you sum up the total for me? Uh, sure. So now the total number of laptops would be both the addition of personal laptops as well as professional laptops. So, Personal laptops total comes out to be 8.08 crores and professional laptops comes out to be 3.6 crores. So the total would be uh, the addition of both of these that is 11.68 crores. Uh, so approximately 11.7 crores uh, are laptops are, are presently in use in India. Okay. Uh, the number sounds very interesting. So and the uh, number also look good. So we can wrap, wrap it up here. It was great interacting with you, Teja. Thank you very much. Coming to feedback, you have used approximation when needed to make your calculation simple, which is very essential to solve any guesstimate. 
you have very good explanation for all the assumptions that you have considered when solving the guesstimate. Using the income level of population is a good approach for this estimation. Overall, it was a great interview. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video. Please stay tuned to our channel. We'll be back with more such interesting content. This is Consulting and Strategy Club of SIBM Pune signing off. Thank you so much.